all the system. It belongs to all of us. And I think we have to um, realize that, that it's expensive. And if we want a quality healthcare system, we all have to be part of ensuring that, that, that we direct it the way we want it to, uh, to go. If we can take models that work in one area and expand it to other areas of the province, that's advantageous. Uh, if it saves money, bonus. Hard work, lots of caring, genuine people. They're there for a reason, and most of that reason is that they care. So I have lots of specialists, and you know, I have six specialists, and that's why I have a hard time. But I guess through my interaction with fellow panel members, I, I realized. No, that's really not the case. Uh, everybody has a difficult time navigating through the health system and I think I've come to realize that it's really because the system is designed for clinicians. Got to look at it from our eyes, not from the doctor, not from the hospital. We kind of see some of the things that we've discussed um, being put into the system. The announcement with health links was one of those, was one of those changes that uh, they, that the government took our ideas and, and said, oh yeah, well, we can run with this. Everyone is very unique in terms of what, how they come to and experience the healthcare system. And there are a lot of unique problems that individuals face, but at the same time there are some sort of universals as well, so communication between doctors and patients is always hugely important. First of all, they've really taught us a lot about how to draw upon the wisdom and experience of patients and their family members as they use Ontario's healthcare system. It has been a revelation and uh, truly a very positive experience. One that makes me cry, as you can see. Don't give up. Keep, keep up the pressure, keep up the good work.